Ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. We officially have the first look at Final Fantasy XIV's new expansion, Stormblood. Not much has been revealed yet, and so this will most likely be a short video, but we are told to expect more teasers and info in the coming months, which I will be sure to update you guys on. We can expect these in future live letters, as well as the Europe and Japan fan festivals. This video will be a quick look at what has been revealed thus far at the North American Fan Fest. So first of all, yes, the title of the patch is Stormblood. And yes, it will take place in Alamigo. The main premise of the story is recovering Alamigo back from the Garleans. We start off in a place known as Ralgar's Reach, the HQ of Alamigo's little remaining resistance. The level cap has gone up from 60 to 70, which was pretty predictable to be honest. Once again, this accounts for all jobs old and new, as well as the crafting and gathering ones. Many of you out there, including myself, I know are still getting some jobs to 60, so now look forward to even a longer journey. There will of course be new dungeons, raids, and primals. Primals have not been revealed yet, but are said to be both old and new. Keep in mind this does not mean even harder versions of the previous primals in Final Fantasy XIV, but bosses from other, older Final Fantasy games like usual. It is said that we will get to know them after 3.5 in the finale of the Warring Triad. The new raid will have both a normal and savage mode. The savage version of the raid is said to have its own separate story apart from the normal version, instead of just going to the Wandering Minster like before. No real info has been revealed as far as what the raid will be, however, but once again, we will see in the coming months. Something that got some loud cheers, as well as what you may find exciting, is finally an expanded inventory space and armory chest. I know this has been long awaited due to the constant overflowing we had to put up with, so I'm sure many of you are happy about it. Now, as for the new jobs. So remember when Yoshi P wore a Batman shirt foreshadowing the arrival of Dark Knight? Well now, he comes wearing a Scarlet Witch shirt, which most people, including me, are speculating Red Mage. Although this is not yet confirmed, it is highly likely that this is what we will see. Other than that, during the teaser trailer we got, there's a character portrayed as what looks like to be a dancer, although other than this, no official statement has been given. This is presumed to be a character that we'll meet in the next patch, but once again it is not confirmed. The Warrior of Light can be seen going head to head with this woman in the teaser as a monk, further proving everyone's guess that this monk will be the central job of the new expansion. The Forbidden Land of Eureka was revealed to be an area with high exploration elements. This will also be a way to get the new relic or animal weapon leveled. I should mention that this area will not be like the Diadem, but will be more of its own entire separate area with its own challenges. The battle system is getting what appears to be quite a few changes, and skills will now be by roles instead of jobs, meaning DPS will get its own, tank will get its own, healer will get its own. New actions will come with the level cap, however there was talk about reassessing unused or ineffective actions. Overall, players are told to expect a whole game's worth of content like usual hopefully worth the money, but that is the major bulk of what we have so far. Honestly, I'm excited at the current state of where Stormblood is headed, even with as little as vague as the presentation we have. I guess that means it went pretty well so far. So let me know what you think, and I'll be sure to update further when more information becomes available. Thank you all for watching. I'm sorry for the sudden halt on the guides, but I came down with a pretty bad case of strep throat and now I'm just behind. If there is enough demand for me to make them now, I will. But I think the majority of the player base has got a good handle on most of the content and I'm not sure if they are needed. But I will finish them if I feel they are, so please let me know. Otherwise, happy late Thanksgiving to all my fellow Canadian friends and have a nice weekend or whatever period of time you are watching this video in.